hello if you can here and welcome back to solitude so we have now completed the main town for our first beachfront town there will be a lot of them throughout this city build and you guys have been coming up with lots of great suggestions for the rest of the map and the rest of the city so keep those coming in thank you so much for those but since we added quite a lot of residential last time, we now have really heavy industrial demand. So the focus for today, we will be building a very small oil industrial area to bring in some more jobs to the city, but also adding a bit more power because we are starting to run short with just the five wind turbines up on the hill. But before we get started on that today, I have been round and done a little bit of naming thanks to your suggestions. So let's start off with the main town name, actually, and we've gone for Serenity. And that was a suggestion by George Hutto and was clearly the most upvoted in the comments from that episode. A couple of others of you mentioned it as well. So we've gone for Serenity for our first beach town name. Thank you, George, for that suggestion. Love it. And to follow suit as well, Big Nakruma also suggested that we call this the Serenity Hoops High School if we went for Serenity. So we have done that. Absolutely love that. Obviously, in reference to our little owl that sits on the extra school building there. And then I have also named this Tiki Beach Bar, Beach Bum Bobs, thanks to a suggestion by Edward Bickford. Thank you so much for that. I absolutely love that. I love the funny ones. <laughs> and any nod to our amazing, lovely, awesome Bob, we'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, we've got Beach Bum Bobs in there. Thank you so much for those name suggestions. And we will, of course, need a name for our oil area today. So please do drop your name suggestions into the comments and we will name it on a future episode. So firstly, coming on to power. So if I just show you in here, <laughs> we're actually four megawatts off being at our limit. So obviously with an oil build in, that is not going to cut it. Now I do want solar to be the main source actually for our power throughout solitude. So we'll be coming in and doing quite a large solar farm sometime really soon. But the trouble with solar is it doesn't offer very many megawatts in each one. So we're going to have to do several very, very large solar plants. So the other alternative that I thought would be suitable for solitude, considering we do have an awful lot of ocean water surrounding the main island, is a wave power plant from the High Tech Content Creators Pack. And if you haven't got this pack, there are some amazing, amazing assets that come with it. Super useful for actually really varied types of builds. So please do consider picking it up via my instant gaming link in the description below. Tons and tons of games at really, really heavily discounted prices, and it does also help support the channel. So with the wave power plant, because we don't actually we need electric wires because we're using the lovely function that comes with 81 tiles mod now, we're actually going to go ahead and just place in some across the ocean. And I'm thinking like realistically for an area like this, what it probably would be is almost like a wave power plant barrier, kind of forming like a dam, but obviously with space for boats to move between. We've got ferries down here. We will have fishing, the potential for a small cargo harbour down here as well just to help things move easily around the island and get things in and out of the city, try to avoid the one highway connection that we have in this entire map. So we definitely want lots of gaps in them. So what I'm thinking is some kind of like almost arc of these across this opening to this bay would be quite nice here. So I'm going to start it over this side. We won't have it too close to shore. We'll have the first one here. So we want to kind of place these really sensibly and I'm not going to use move it line up tool for this because I don't really want a straight line. I kind of want it arced around the edge of the bay to mirror some of the shapes in the landscape. So I think we'll put the next one here and then thinking like one in the middle. So we might have five in here and they only produce 20 megawatts of power. So they're not like overkill. Like we could go ahead and put in the ocean thermal energy conversion plant, which comes with uh, Green Cities DLC as well. And this produces 480, so, you know, that would do it. But I think that these will be a nicer touch for this. Yeah, I'm thinking possibly five. So let's put this one, try and eyeball it into the middle. We may have to use move it just to adjust these slightly. So we'll keep it like that. So it's nice big gaps between them. And that doesn't look too bad on first glance. Let's have a little look from some different angles. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, actually. The spacing isn't absolutely perfect, uh, but it will do. So, yeah, what it means is we just have these in the middle of the ocean, essentially, <laughs> with lots of gaps for shipping lanes and things like that in between them. So hopefully the placement will be fine. We might have to move things around once we've got some shipping lanes in here. Obviously, ferries, we can divert these around them. But I feel like that's quite a realistic solution to power for an island like this. I'm quite happy with that. 
One thing I do want to do with it is a little kind of almost power source workers block, like people who want to maintain them, an area for them over here. So let's go ahead and grab this road and just extend it down. thinking for this is actually just one simple generic industrial building here and this one I don't mind too much I feel like it's uh, uh I'm not sure entirely what the cylinders would be <laughs> I'm thinking like gas or water maybe for cleaning maintenance purposes I, I really don't know but I like the look of this building I feel like it has the right vibe to it and then around that as well we can also help it out with one of our traffic station boxes or a couple of these potentially and then I am thinking one of these on the corner as well would not go amiss. And then from this box, we could essentially start bringing out our power lines. Now, I would like these to actually run alongside the road. I'm thinking these ones. I guess we can. Let's actually use Network Multi-Tool here. And we're going to run them all the way down this road as a parallel network here. So this is quite close. So I'm actually just going to extend that out just a tiny bit. So it is very slightly less close. And we'll hit enter and hopefully our power poles will actually appear. Yes, they will. And then I really, yeah, really like the effect of this. We might have to do a little bit of tree clearance, but we can certainly do that. But these poles definitely look good following up this coastal road here. So please with that. And then we, of course, just need to join this in appropriately here. And then this forms the area for our little power complex here. So let's bring in an entrance. Uh, let's move this node over very slightly. So we'll come up to here and we'll just use the plain concrete roads as always for this. Turn on snapping so we get a nice angle and we'll just bring this out straight round in front of that building, which will give that a connection there. Then we've got car parks down the back. So I am thinking we probably want to bring out some more car parking in here too. So let's go ahead and do the road down this side. And then we can just bring in our very simple one by four parking lots here. I think the other ones are white, so this one kind of matches. And we can just put that along the side there to indicate more parking. Let's, of course, get rid of these streetlights because they don't go at all. So if we go back to select the road, let's go to streetlights with network skins here, turn on to none, and then we'll just upgrade these roads. We'll put our own lights into this complex, which will look much more realistic. And I'm kind of thinking that's probably all it needs to do. Potentially it needs a little pier at the bottom. So let's give them a very small pier here so that maintenance boats can get out there and reach the power plant. And we'll give them path access down to it from the main complex up above. So in trying to get this pier to blend in, I decided to actually put rocks on the beach around it because I didn't really want people walking around the beach to the back of this sort of power complex. I felt like it should be a little bit secure. So you'll see later we come in and put some security signs in and such like. But I thought blocking off the beach with some big boulders and some big rocks would be appropriate for this. And then in terms of access, the, the best way to do this is actually to use one of the terrain conforming paths. So like the park life paths, the nature reserve path is the one that I chose to use here. And that then just pushes up the sand at the edge of the pier. And then in Find It, if you search for path, you can also get the grass and the small rocks, which are super, super useful, which is what I'm using here to blend the path into the beach around it. Because otherwise I found the edges of it to be very harsh indeed but super useful to get those small rocks that decorate the nature reserve path because they're a hell of a lot smaller than the vanilla small rock that you get so really really useful assets indeed so i think that helped to blend it in a lot better to the beach around it and then in picking boats i didn't really have the right kind of boat assets that i wanted so i'll probably come in sometime and change these once i found the right assets for this these are a little bit more pleasure cruiser motorboats <laughs> but i decided to give a little mix to liven it up a little bit and then the rest of the detailing is really about the main complex here. So making sure the surfaces all make sense, adding in a few prop sims just to give it a little bit of life and a couple of areas for the staff.
So coming on to the oil area, and we do have on the map this little piece of oil resource here, mainly because I put it there. <laughs> but this is what we're going to use for our little oil area. And this is not going to be anything big or significant to that extent at all. It's going to be really quite small and simple. We'll have a few oil pumps and a little bit of processing, but that is pretty much it. Now, I've just removed the trees, but of course we will <laughs> be putting them back because this looks very odd and very bare as a patch of sand in the middle of the, well, at the bottom of our volcano style mountain here. And we're also going to have to bear in mind the terrain because it is incredibly steep. <laughs> like if we look up there, like even where the oil pumps are going to be sitting, it's a lot further up than this road. So what we want to do is try and take advantage of as much as possible of this flat space that we have here at the bottom. So this is where our main buildings and processing is going to sit. So of course for oil we're using the Industries DLC and the first thing we need to do is plop in an oil main building. So I am going to use, I think we will actually use the industrial road for this. I think it's got a nice effect to it. Let's turn staffing on. We'll bring out a straight road like that for the moment. And then we are literally going to put the main building right off of this, quite close to this main road as well. Like I think what we want when we see this road is to see yeah, the fence and, and the building behind. And this, of course, will grow as the area levels up. So what I'm actually thinking, <laughs> just a thought that suddenly occurred to me right now, is if we go into sub-buildings in Find It, we can actually get the more advanced version of this building. So it's already built up a little bit. And this one's actually a little bit nicer. So let's get rid of that, even though we're not level five yet. Let's place this in because there's certain bob work I definitely want to do on this, like the trees and the flower beds, which do not go. But really, really like the front entrance to this one. So yeah, I think that works well. We're going to bob firstly, we'll find the flower beds and we'll remove those. And then let's go to our trees and let's let's swap them out for something. So that is a little bit better with our nicer, just plain generic trees there that we've used a lot throughout the kind of rainforest undergrowthy type area. And I'm also not particularly loving the fence, but we'll come back to that. We may change it out for a slightly more hardcore industrial looking one. But that will do for the main entrance. Now this is not going to be the cleverest layouts by any means because it's uh, quite difficult <laughs> to fit these all into this tiny minute space. So it is going to be just pretty gridded and packed in. Let's now go into our processing building. So I'm just going to pause it until we've got in our oil pumps as well. Now the processing buildings for oil are thankfully really quite small, um, but the storage is relatively large. So what I am thinking for this is we're going to have some big oil barrels right up by the road. I quite like this look and it kind of signifies the entrance to the area as well. Let's just continue this road on a little bit further. Now already we're starting to dig into the landscape there, so we're going to have problems, but it will be okay. And of course, what I have forgotten to do is bring out our oil industry area. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll make it a fairly large area for the moment, covering all of these areas where we're going to be putting some pumps, but the pumps will be pretty sparse up in the hills. And I'm thinking in terms of this road, this is going to kind of lead on up into the hills a little bit like this. So it's going to sweep round and carry on up there. So that's not too steep as long as we bend it round enough. But then we do need to also fit in our processing building. So we've got the Napka Cracker plant, which is actually quite large. And this one is producing plastics. The alternative to that is a petrochemical plant, which is actually really nice and small. So I'm thinking we'll have one of these down here and if we can try and get two of these in I think that would be beneficial and of course the other one we do want is the waste oil refining plant and these are absolutely tiny <laughs> so there's absolutely no problem in getting these ones in so let's go ahead and see if we can do a little bit of fusing with these so the biggest thing that I'm noticing with this is that with the petrochemical plant there is a little gap in the fencing already there so if we just move this one back We'll worry about the terrain in a second. Let's straighten this one up. What we get is this nice gap in the fencing. And then if we just push these up together, what we can try and do is merge those two bits of fencing in, or even better, in fact, let's go to Network Multi-Tool. Let's go to the Unlock Networks function, and we'll click on the tiny little bit of fence from here. And then we'll go into Bulldozer. And we're probably a little bit too close with that other plant, so let's move that out for now. And we can just remove that. Then if we pull this back up, those fences will sit really nicely together there. 
in that corner and it kind of makes sense as one little area and I feel like it looks quite good together so yeah pleased with that one and we could always actually do the same over here so let's go ahead and actually do that and then that will help to break up a little bit against the road at the back there so we'll need to do the same thing here with network multi-tool we'll click to unlock the segment we'll just come into bulldozer and remove that because it doesn't do it for every asset and this time we'll actually we'll go a little bit differently and we'll sit this slightly further back again the, <laughs> the terrain is all kinds of bumpy here but that's okay we will sort that out let's bring it right back so it's almost in line with the oil storage and in fact actually looking at it let's go back to network multi-tool and unlock this segment as well on this version of the asset and remove that and then what we can do is sit this really nicely up against this fence here and then we can just pull this one up so again that's sitting really nicely next to that then we've got one very long continuous bit of fence with this kind of heavy industry opposite it and what i am really liking is the mix of industry with commercial and residential and solitude so far like i've never put industry this close normally but because we've got pollution turned off with game anarchy we can and i think it gives quite a nice like realistic touch to it because you do find industrial areas that close to residential in real life of course this one wants road access let's grab our plain concrete road we'll just bring out a segment to come and meet it there now we want all of this to be level so let's grab nodes and buildings we'll grab all of these and we're just going to level it off to the same height we can come in and worry about smoothing off the terrain afterwards so now i'm thinking because we've got two of the larger capacity petroleum ones and two of the smaller capacity plastic i'm thinking what it would be good to do is just bring in one more larger asset and i think that this could be potentially placed up the hill and we'll just have to level it off a little bit so let's go back and grab our industrial road and we'll bring a straight road across here like that and let's just grab this node and make sure with Control h and move it that it is the same height as this central point here and then we can grab the napka cracker plant and add this one in here so what it gives us it's quite a nice little layered build if we ignore the horrendous <laughs> terrain for the time being we will of course smooth it out and detail it up so it doesn't look like that but yeah it does give us quite a nice effect i think there now before i click play or do anything i'm definitely going to set these to empty i don't want all of a sudden <laughs> loads of import of oil coming in to fill up these storage areas because it will be filled through all of the different oil pumps that we're about to put in so what I want for this is I don't actually want these really big oil drilling rigs. Like I feel like they're too large. We may place, we think it's suitable, one or two in here and there, but we're not going to go overboard. We are really going to focus on the small oil pumps, not even the large ones. So we'll be doing single ones of these dotted around the mountainside across this patch of oil here. Well, one other thing that I do really like actually from base game is the base game oil assets in here. So I think rather than using the big rigs from the industry's DLC, I'll probably bring in a couple of the pumps from here because it is also really useful to have these base game zoned industries in as well as your industry's DLC. Otherwise, you will be importing these materials. It's slightly different to the materials that the industry DLC extracts and uses and produces. So generic industry buildings will require oil from the base game zoned oil industry. So it'd be good for us to get some of these pumps in and also some of the processing buildings or at least one of them so i think that's what i'll do down in this area here is we'll have a couple of extra processing buildings dotted around potentially behind them as well just to extend the area maybe a little bit of a complex on the side of the hill here but we'll see when we come to do that but for this area what i would really like i'm thinking we're probably the muddy road is going to be most suitable for this but we kind of want to just bring out very curvy roads all across the mountainside so we can then place our pumps on we're going to go for that. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's created a horrible mess in the terrain. <laughs> but hopefully none of the slopes are too steep. We do need to massively fix this and go around and slope a few nodes, which doesn't seem to be working anymore, my automatic sloping function. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see about that. As soon as I click on them, they do. But what we can do with the terrain where we can see that is we can use theme decals. So this is a mod that is really, really useful and you can get all of your different textures which matches your theme. So this one, okay, yeah, granted that is maybe slightly different, but if we take a look at the ruined, it is our ruined texture. This is our oil texture, but it's just mixed in with ruined. 
we've also got cliff which is obviously our grass texture but it's really really useful for covering up some of these blips that we have so i'm actually going to go ahead and use ruin for this because i feel like it blends in the best but we will be also coming around and covering this up with foliage uh, but we can just simply place these in and they conform to the terrain it just literally changes the color of the landscape uh, won't do anything to the oil demand or anything like that underneath um, so really really useful does spill out onto the roads though so that is something to bear in mind and actually I can see we've gone too far with our roads here so let's just trim those back a tiny bit you can see now that we've painted those in it looks a little bit better it still looks pretty rough but it does look like someone's kind of carved a road into the landscape so I'm okay with that let's go ahead and put in some pumps and like I said all I want is like a few of them dotted around of course we're going to get more tearing as soon as we do this as well but that is okay like we just don't want too many of these we want them very very dotted around the hillsides and this is probably already <laughs> too many but we will leave that like that and then if we come back to our generic industry of course we've got these slightly larger pumps so we can place a few of these in I'm thinking down here some of these slightly larger pumps and maybe one of the drills like this and of course we'll come in with trees uh, yeah the theme decals disappear if you zoom out too far but of course we'll come in with trees and we're going to detail this all up so i wanted the complex to feel really secure so i did add in another security barrier here and change this road up to one with a median so we could add that nicely into the middle without the trucks driving over it and then i sorted out this node a little bit because i wanted to make it feel more realistic the entrance into the main building there so i actually added in the concrete road and use node controller to shift that element of the node over that that intersection of the node over to make it look like it actually was an entrance and then using a little bit of imt i wanted to kind of fill these roads in here because i felt like it was quite a stark contrast going from the black asphalt into the sort of rougher industrial roads so i was originally looking at some of the new functionality where you can add different theme textures in or different decals but actually what i settled on in the end was just very simple stripes which i think was quite effective and, and symbolizes the entrance to it hopefully trucks would slow down as they came into the complex via this
that was a tough build in all honesty to detail I found blending in the oil texture to the greenery and the surrounding areas around it very very tough indeed <laughs> but I hope we've come up with something quite nice looking I think adding in the undergrowth really helped with that and now with our oil industry now in our job demand is nicely satisfied and we are back to having pretty equal demand across all categories now so please do let me know your name suggestions for the oil area in the comments below and also let me know what you'd like to see next we're heading on towards doing a little fishing town i think and also going into the mountains to do some luxury villas and some favelas so that's coming very very soon but that is going to be it for today so if you have enjoyed the episode likes comments and shares are really really appreciated and thank you so much for the support on the series so far but that's all from me for now so thank you so much for tuning in stay tuned for the cinematics and i'll catch you again next time Bye-bye.